Today I want to tell you how can we find out the velocity from displacement time graph. I mean to say if you have given displacement time graph then how can you get the velocity of the moving body with the help of that displacement time graph. Okay, let's start with the graph. This is the graphical representation of motion of a body and the body is in uniform velocity. And in y-axis, there is displacement and in x-axis, there is time because this is displacement time graph. Now, this is the motion of uniform velocity. Now, to find out the velocity of that body, we have to use this formula, velocity equal to displacement by time. Mathematically, if we have displacement, total displacement and total time, we can calculate easily. And there is another way also with the help of graph, we can find out the slope. If slope of this graph is found, then we'll get the velocity of that body because velocity of the body is represented by this slope. And slope can be calculated by using this change of displacement, which is denoted by delta s. If it is divided by change in time, delta t then we'll get the slope and slope represents velocity of this body which has uniform velocity okay now let's go to find out this for this i want to show this point we have to select any two points in this graph let's say this is a point a selected and another point b is selected not necessarily to be the same you can select another point also this point or this point or this point or this point also can be selected these two points can also be selected and after selecting these two points if we draw a straight line dotted straight line towards displacement y-axis then it represents that a is in the uh, position of 20 meter and b is in the position of 40 meter displacement of b is 40 meter displacement of a is 20 meter now if we float a triangle like this and this is right angle triangle and we have this right angle abc acb or bca whatever we say now if we plot a dotted line from A towards this time line, I mean to say uh, x-axis, then it represents the story of second second, I mean to say two second, and uh, the, the body is in the position of B at four second. In the position of A, second, uh, two second. In the position of B, it is uh, at four second. Now we have both the displacement and time. Now how can we get this change of displacement? This can be used. This is the formula. BC represents the displacement, change of displacement. That is from A to B. And CA represents the change of time, delta T. And how much it is? BC means 40 meter minus 20 meter represents what change of displacement and ca means four second minus two second represents the change of time and if we subtract 20 from 40 then we'll get 20 in numerator and if we subtract 2 from 4 then we'll get 2 in denominator like this 20 meter by 2 second then uh, lastly we get 10 meter per second what is this this is the slope of this graphical representation of displacement time graph now this is the velocity of that body also if we have given displacement time graph of a body moving with uniform velocity then selecting two points from that graphical representation we can calculate the velocity of that body from that displacement time graph okay this much for today